Welcome to another video. In today's video we will talk about how to control the emotions of anger. Anger is a natural human emotion that we all feel. However, if we don't know how to control that emotion, if we don't know how to deal with anger, it can sometimes be destructive. If we allow anger to take control of our life, we will face many problems. That's why today I'm going to present you with a little exercise that you can apply in your everyday life to deal with that emotion. First of all, I must remind you that none of these exercises are easy. In fact, nothing in life that brings us happiness and peace is an easy task. Although it is difficult, we cannot leave it because we like to be happy and want peace in our life. That is why the Buddha said that anything that brings happiness in life is a difficult task. What can we do to deal with the emotions of anger? The first and most important thing you can do to deal with these emotions is to admit that your thoughts are angry. If you do not know that your thoughts are in anger, you cannot deal with it. This includes awareness. When you feel yourself about to become angry, when you feel that anger prompting you, ask yourself, what am I thinking now? What mode are my thoughts in? When you ask that question and answer it, you can realize, now I'm going to get angry. When we get to the second step, if you look at this, if I ask you a question when you feel angry, imagine a situation where you were angry with something or someone. How does your breathing pattern work? How does our breathing pattern change when we feel anger? It speeds up and we take short breaths. It signals to our body, it sends a message to our body that you are now ready to get angry, to breathe heavily for short periods and to breathe quickly. The first thing you can do is slow down your breathing pattern. Take a deep breath and let it go. Take another deep breath and let go. Slowing down your breathing pattern will help calm your body and calm your mind. When we feel calm and ready to rest, what do we do? For example, after a long day at work when you get home and after a good shower, if you fall on the couch, what is the first thing you do? Take a deep breath and let it go. That's what you're doing, you're signaling to your body that you're going to calm down or rest. So when you feel angry, when you feel panic, just send a message to your body to calm down by taking two to three deep breaths. So breathing can help you a lot. As a third step, now that you are a little calmer and calmer, you can think wisely about your thought pattern. Reflecting on my thoughts, you can understand why I became angry with that person. What is that? Then you can realize that the anger does not prevail in the outside world, in that person or thing. The specific thing is that anger prevails in my mind. It's something I created. When you come across a situation that prompts you to be angry, you can choose between two options, react with negativity or respond with positivity. It's up to you, and your experiences depend on those choices you make. So you fully have the power and privilege to respond with positivity. Therefore, you must believe in patience. Remember, there is nothing in this world no problem in this world that is solved by anger. That is why the Buddha says that anger does not end with anger. Hate doesn't stop with hate. Hate ends only with love and kindness. That is why you must believe in patience, compassion and forgiveness. That is how you will solve the problem. Even if you react with anger, even if you shout or act with anger, it will not help, it will not solve the problem. In fact, the problem will get worse. I have seen a lot of people who could not control their anger even for a second, now they regret it for their whole life. So remember, getting angry won't help you. When you believe in patience, kindness and compassion, you will have the strength to face the situation positively. Remember what the Buddha said. The Buddha said that before you do anything with your body, your speech, or your mind, think wisely, what am I going to do? Is it worth it? Will it bring happiness to me or others? 
will it hurt others or me? If it hurts you or if it hurts others, don't try to do it. Remember, it's okay to feel anger in your mind sometimes, but it's not okay to let that anger come out in our body actions and words. Remember, this is how we can control anger. Always believe in patience and kindness, it is the way to solve problems. So this is a little exercise that we can use to manage the emotions of anger. Practice these exercises little by little and make your life more peaceful. A number with greater harmony.